linearity property of Fourier transform. If Fourier transform of x1 t is x1 omega that is x1 omega is integration of x1 t e to the power minus j omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. Another signal is x2 t and its Fourier transform is x2 omega where this x2 omega is the integration of x2 t e to the power minus j omega t dt. Now if, if we have new signal that is linear combination of x1 t and x2 t that is alpha x1 t plus beta x2 t then its Fourier transform is also the linear combination of Fourier transform of individual signals. Fourier transform will be alpha x1 omega plus beta x2 omega. Suppose the linear combination of two signals is x3t and the corresponding Fourier transform is x3 omega then x3 omega is integration of x3t e to the power minus g omega t from minus infinity to plus infinity. Now we will replace x3t that is alpha x1t plus beta x2 t now we will expand the integration this will be alpha x1 t e to the power minus g omega t then integration of beta x to t e to the power minus j omega t dt. So the first term is alpha x1 omega and the second term is beta x2 omega and this is x3 omega. So this is the linearity property of Fourier transform. Now let us take an example of linear combination of two signals. Suppose signal is 3 del t plus 4 e to the power minus 2 2t ut. Then the Fourier transform of linear combination of two, two signals del t and e to the power minus 2t ut is 3 into Fourier transform of del t is 1 plus 4 Fourier, 4 into Fourier transform of e to the power minus 2 t u t and its Fourier transform is 1 upon j omega plus 2. So 
the Fourier transform of this signal is 3 plus 4 upon 2 plus g omega. That is how we calculate or that is how we evaluate the Fourier transform of linear combination of two signals by using the properties of by using the linearity property of Fourier transform.